be her wife family. Hello, how you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you guys doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. My name is Bukolo Rudo Yakub, aka P. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is what? Ma Monday. Today is what? Monday. <laughs> Today's what? Monday. Today's what? Monday. Today's what? Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, happy Monday. Hey, happy Monday. Ah, oh, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you guys. So we go to my uncle's house. Uh, say happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hey. Oh, today's Monday, guys. Today's Monday. Happy Monday. So we got to my, my uncle's birthday was um yesterday. Yeah. My uncle's birthday was yesterday. My uncle is actually my dad's cousin. So it's like um <laughs> big daddy to me. You know, the Nigerian culture thing. He's like big daddy to me. It's my dad's cousin, first cousin. And um yesterday was his birthday. So we could um yesterday was his birthday. He didn't do anything. So it was just normal day, you know. Cause we wanted to go uh, wanted to go so we wanted to pay him a visit, but he wasn't. It wasn't available. He was like, "Oh, I'm going to work." I said, "Okay, no problem. We'll try and see if we can make it today." So today's the day after his birthday, and for some reason, you know, after this whole Corona thing, so I've been very intentional about you know about people that are people that are dead to me, people that are close to me, people that are just people in general. Look, you know, I'm I'm very intentional about checking on people, you know. Cause this corona have taught us. I don't know about you. Uh, let me let me let me let me let me talk about myself. This corona have taught me a lot. You know, you know, in the importance, you know, of family. I've learned a lot during this time. To be honest with you guys, I've learned a lot. I've been very intentional about checking on people, about calling people. I sent a lot of text messages out this week. If you see my text message and you're like, oh wow, she's checking What's on us. Here, okay. I've been very intentional about checking on people calling people sending messages just you know just people that i know that i love that are that are dear to me people that if you're on my contact list you're gonna get a text message from me if you are on my contact list you're gonna be getting text maybe once or twice a year maybe once a month maybe three times in a year maybe once a year maybe every month you definitely if you are in my contact list you're gonna be getting a message from me just checking up on people and saying how are you how you doing? You know, I believe it goes a long way. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna record when we get there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record when we get to his house. Yeah, you know, um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. So, and um, yeah. Where are we going to? Where are we going to? See you. Where are we going to? Ri, where are we going to? <laughs> Is that where you're going to? Where? <laughs> Hello, Bihar wife family. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. My name is Bukola Rudo Yakub, aka Bihar wife. So today's another day, guys. Today's another day. Today's another day. Today's, um, what is today? Today is August 8th. Today is Sunday. Today is August 8th, 2021. Another day. The last time I vlog was, um, yeah. Last time I vlog was a week ago. On Monday? I think it was on Monday. We went over to my uncle's house. I pick up my phone when I, when I pick up my phone before we left. I pick up the camera. I said before. I pick up my camera before we left. Talk to you guys. Um, but I didn't take the camera with me because you know I just didn't want to take the camera with me. I just wanted to spend time with my uncle. And you know, with the kids, we just wanted to go there and spend time with my uncle. So we went there to my we went to my uncle's house, spent time with him, and we got back to really late. So yeah, so today's Sunday. Today's Sunday and um my we have so I remember what I told you guys in the last vlog. I said I'm very this here, I mean after Corona, so I'm very intentional about you know checking on people you know checking on people making sure everybody is okay making sure family is good making sure everyone is okay you know check going to be going to people that people that we love 
going to visit our families and friends you know today we're on our way to our adopted uncle's house yes my husband actually makes um uncle Mo shout out to uncle Mokala. his wife just came from nigeria so anyway we're going to my my husband's adopted um we adopted him as our uncle so he's our adopted uncle right anyway i don't know on to our uncle's house and we're not blood related but we but we are family you know we are not blood related but we are family so my uncle my husband meant uncle Mokela when he came to when he first came to america you know and uncle Mokela was really there for my husband i didn't know each other from nowhere he was there for my husband you know he was really there for him and we just we just adopted him as a family. Like I said, Uncle Bukela is a very, very, very dear person to us. Yeah, very dear uncle to us, you know. And his wife just came from Nigeria, you know. His wife just came like, like this past week. Huh? His wife just came from Nigeria this past week. And I was so happy when my husband told me, I was like, you know what, we gotta go there and say hi to him. We just have to go there. You know, it's Sunday. It's Sunday, I like to be in my house and rest, look. I like to be in my own house and chill on Sunday and Sunday nights by 8 o'clock all I want to do is turn my TV on and watch Housewives of Atlanta married to medicine that's all I want to do on Sunday nights but guess what family we gotta go out there and say hi to a beautiful wife that just came from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So, gotta go out, you know, and say hi to a beautiful wife that just came from Nigeria. So, we're on our way to Uncle Mukela's house. Uh -huh. Uncle Mukela is a Muslim, down to earth, very humble, very humble. When I was dating my husband, he um, it's good to be good though in this life, eh? Be good. It's good to be good. It is good to be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Uncle Mugula is a very down to earth man. I'm always going to do something because, you know, what about, about us? What about me? When I'm going to visit people, I don't like to go empty handed. Shout out to my mommy Victoria. I learned that from my mommy Victoria. You know, I don't like to go empty handed. I don't believe you see me go to people's house empty handed. No, no, why? Why? I mean you can just buy them one pack of water. One pack of one pack of one yeah, one pack of water. You can buy them milk. You can buy them bread. You can buy them buy them food stuff, you know. Just to say ah Milwaukee, you know, egg bow, you know, buy them tissue, buy them toilet show, buy them something. I just, that's just me. I don't like to go to people's house empty handed, you know. I always, and when you come to my house, when you come to my house, oh, I'll give you at least one, one, one bottle of water. If I don't have drink, if you don't want to drink something, I'll give you something. You're not going to come to my house and just leave. No, I'm going to give you something. If, if, if some people say, ah, oh, I'm fast, okay, fine, no problem. Just take this box of water. I learned that from my mom, you know. My mom, will, she want she want you to eat, see, by force. Even if you don't have food in the house. My mom want to cook anything, just concussion me something because she must eat by force, by fire. I say, ha, you know that? Mama, we don't have food. She said, don't worry. Just find something in the fridge and just mix it together. They will eat. That's my mom, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know. You know, now I'm, and now I'm having kids. I'm trying to teach them the right way to do things, you know. You know, having kids now. You got to teach them the right way to do things, you know. That's how you get your blessing, you know. That's how you get your blessing, you know. Anyway. Yes, my love. You know what? That red bike. Don't worry, you're gonna get your own bike too, okay? And I have my lovely children. Mama. So you wanna say hi? Say hi. hi. Can they wanna say hi? hi. Reed, you wanna say hi? He's behind. Yes, he's right there beside you. Mm -hmm. 
so anyway, so my husband is gonna come outside. We're just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him some questions about Uncle Mokala. If he's willing to talk, I'll let you know. Okay. Don't wait when you have millions in your account. Don't wait when you have millions in your account before you bless people, before you reach out to people, before you give that little money. If you have five dollars, if you give fifty cents, your fifty cents will go a long way. But you have, you don't know when people are using you. I'm not saying people that are users. But people are users. I'm not saying users. People that actually need the money, need this. Not the ones that are trying to use you. Know the difference, okay? Wisdom is needed when you're dealing with people, okay? Giving is also your presence, you know? Being there for people. Giving is your time. When you Giving is your time. Because when you commit and, and, and you spend time with people, you give, you're sacrificing your precious time. Mr. Mukala is that man that gave my husband a car. Took care of my husband, drove him around. Didn't know my husband from no way. He saw something in him. If my husband, when he came to America, if he hadn't stayed, because when he came to America, he, was, he insisted that he was going to do that. I'll, t I'll let him share the story if he's willing to share it. Open his back in the car. We're almost there at our location. Um, we're almost at um, Big Uncle's house. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Mukala's house. Yes. I just told him that Uncle Mukala is our adopted uncle. And, um, you know, so the purpose of this video is just to we were talking about you know it's good to be good it's good to be nice it's good to be to good to people so how did you mate because i tell them that you are not blood related but we have family you know so how did you meet uncle Mokin? how did you know i mean yeah. how did you guys how did you guys meet? i mean I, I always you know see uncle Mokala as my uncle from um, or i should say my brother from another mother uh based on the fact that you know he's someone who was there for me when i came into this country you know fresh we actually met uh through my friend who happens to be my friend from nigeria so when i came into this country um i was you know staying at my friend's place so they happened to you know share the same apartment that was how I met Okumukana. And honestly, he basically took me like a brother. He did everything that even some blood would ordinarily not do, you know, to support their family. But he did, you know. He went out of his way, do a lot of things for me. He drops me at several places, you know, when I was you know uh when i didn't have a car you know so and he's somebody who will just do things without even thinking twice he likes to help and i'll be honest with you i respect him so much for that mm. he would do things without even thinking about how much it's going to cost him he doesn't see you know anything material as, as nothing and i appreciate and respect him so much for that so we met through my friend, and I will tell you, I don't think what Uncle Mukala has done for me as a person, not even a brother, a blood, in this country, I, I doubt if some blood brothers will be able to you know, do half of it. He has done a lot, materially, morally, you know. He, more, more morally. More of yeah, more of moral support. Moral support. So because yeah. sometimes it's not just about monetary uh, yeah. gift. So and uh, let me let me say something very uh, interesting. So I remember back in the days, and I just you know got to this country now. So you know as a guy who used to work for the government back in in Nigeria, and I traveled abroad to you know academic you know to do my masters and the intention was to go back home and go back to work get promoted become a guy you know that was the aspiration you know so but when I came here I decided to go back because things were rough and I wasn't finding it funny at all so I wanted to go back because first of all 
I haven't even resigned. I was on study leave, so my my job was still very much intact. Matter of fact, even uh, office were you know reaching out and expecting me and all that. So I told Uncle, ah, me, I'm going back home. I can't deal with all this wala, looking for a job and all these things. He was the one who sat me down uh. and told me. He said, upon all this education, because you know I I I went to grad school. So upon all this education, you want to go back home? Don't you know you have a better opportunity here? You know, he advised me, he spoke to me like a blood. Something that even some people would not even do. He made sure that I didn't travel. He said to me that whatever it takes, that I should just relax. That is always like this. You know, he was the one who stood his ground and said, no, you are not going anywhere because you have a better chance here. And if there's anything somebody is doing to you at home, it's not going to work. You have to, you have to manage and stay. And that was it. You know, he was always there for me. Ready. To and any any time we call him, is always there. He's, he's always, always there. Yeah. Every he's time we there. any time we call him, is always there. Oh, showing no, no, up. No, 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 no. He's, he's always he's, there to he's support. He's such a very yeah. wonderful soul. He's mm. always there to support. Yeah. If you know anybody, call anybody that knows on Kumukala and ask about him. You will see what. They will say more than what I've said now about him. That's how nice he is, you know. So, Uncle, Uncle Mukala is a very dear uh, uncle to me. So, and I, I appreciate him so much. And I hold him, you know, uh, at a very high esteem, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so he's our adopted uncle. So we go into Kumukela's house. So that's this is how you guys hear. Now you hear from him, okay? So that's how we because you guys are So that's how we know him, you know. So my my kids is uh, call him Big Daddy. Yes, my love. We almost there. Big Daddy's house. Anyway, if I can blog, I will carry you guys like if I cannot. If I can blog, I'll blog it. If I can't. I want and I'll be back so like I told you guys his wife just came from Nigeria so we're going there to welcome her okay we're going there to welcome our, our wife eh our wife so we're going there to welcome her with my wife she just came from Nigeria so we'll see you guys oh thank you okay we'll see you guys